This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Shambi and Chris Singleton on the call. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the Fall Classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. And welcome back Lead to the go. ballpark. The Ready to go for the last half the of the inning. And hitter. the batter now, Gerald Hayden. He's a major topic of conversation. The rare two-way player at the big league level. It's pretty early on in his major league career, but it's driving a lot of excitement around the game. Yeah, Boog, hard to not get excited about a player with this much athleticism, this much talent. Just such a rare thing. Now back, the designated hitter. One wonderful thing about the postseason, you never know who's going to be the hero. It could be the superstar, but often it's a far more unlikely player. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now back, left fielder, Lourdes. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr., Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. One down. Gabriel Moreno getting ready to hit. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Out there to center. Tavares settles under it. Brings it in. Two down. You know, one unlikely postseason hero I saw up close, Alex Gonzalez of the Marlins in the 2003 World Series. Wasn't really known for his bat, but he hit a walk-off no, homer in extra no, innings in game four. It tied the series and was a huge momentum swing. And a pitch. Bouncer to Young. Tosses across the first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We played four. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Rangers nothing. The batter, the designated hitter, Gerald Hayden. Hit hard, that gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Bounced out to short, and it's through for a hit. They get it in quickly, so first and second now, one out. Now, Gabriel Moreno. The catcher number 14. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. 
But maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So the bases are loaded here, one gone. Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Liner, base hit. One run across, the throw in. He's in there. It's 5-0. That's three singles in a row. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. So here's the cleanup now hitter, that, Gerald Hayden. He's not going to get cheated up there. Okay. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. It's a double, third hit of the ninth one. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. So two down. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Left fielder, Lourdes Gurriel. The D-backs up big in this one here in game one. That one to first, and he can't come up with it. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Diamondback six and the Rangers nothing. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.